I'm with Scott Banks in the most incredible place, not just in Atlantic City, but on Earth. Scott, can you tell us where we are right now? We're currently standing inside the left stage chamber of the Midmer Lash Pipe Organ, the largest musical instrument on Earth. And we're standing next to some of the largest pipes on the organ, in fact, the heaviest metal organ pipe in the world, weighing over 2,300 pounds. It's 32 feet tall and is made out of 5 sixteenths of an inch cold rolled zinc that was actually rolled on a machine used to roll steamship funnels. How many pipes are here? 33,112 in the entire instrument. The chamber we're in currently has a little over 9,000 pipes and that's just one of eight rooms containing pipes in the main arena. Everything here is acoustic, there is no amplification, so if you want to know how many speakers we have, 33,112. What you're looking at now is a diaphone. They function very similar to a foghorn. It's a valvular reed, so in the, the boot of the pipe there's a valve that's opening and closing, and that pressurizes and depressurizes the resonator on top of that, creating the sound that we associate with that style of pipe. Scott, these, these pipes look new, they're, but they're not, are they? They're not. Everything that you see here is original. They've just been restored to their original 1929 look. Uh, the first row of pipes you see there is what we call Vox Humana, or it's actually Latin for human voice, so it has the sound of a choir when it's used. What you're looking at is where the organ is hidden behind the walls here. It was never to be a featured showpiece. It was just part of the technological equipment of the building that would provide music. But all the chambers or rooms where the pipes are hidden are in mirrored pairs. So the big ones on either side of the proscenium arch of the stage contain a little over half of the instrument, or 18,600 pipes. And if you look at the first arch of Boardwalk Hall, at the base you'll see three decorative grills. That's another chamber there. And if you come back now to the fourth arch from the stage, just above the seats, you'll see a little bit of decorative grill work. That's another chamber there. And if you go up into the ceiling just a little bit higher, you'll see some decorative grills in the ceiling as well. And that's another chamber. And they're reflected in mirror on the opposite side. So eight chambers containing the 33,112 pipes and 150 tons of sound producing equipment. Scott, who is this? That's Senator Emerson Lewis Richards. He was the architect of both organs here at Boardwalk Hall and the father of the American classic organ. Uh, he was a state senator, a lawyer by trade, and the pipe organ was his passion. So when he built this instrument, he also wrote the contract for it. And it was very interesting because he could come in as the architect at any time, make any change he wanted to the instrument. And the builder, not the city of Atlantic City, bore the cost. Ooh.